What's up, Virgo? So today we are going to do a Mercury retrograde spread for November, as well as pulling uh, four oracle cards for you. And I'm going to start with the art oracle cards that I have here. So I ask my guides, my galactic guardians, my angels, my archangels, my ascended masters, please help me to set my ego aside so that I can give Virgo the message that is in their highest good today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See what we got going on here for you guys. Message for Virgo, please. Message for Virgo. Message for Virgo. Number 10. It's a beautiful card. It's a gold. It's highlighting the crown chakra for you. And that is focusing on inspiration, access, uh, the access point, excuse me, elevation, opportunity, bliss, and then link. The more information you have in any situation can be the difference between joy and grief, being alone or lonely, power or force, knowledge or wisdom. You're being asked to reserve action and carefully evaluate your judgment right now. Things are not exactly as they seem and an expanded awareness is necessary. At any point within an experience or situation, you can stop and take a moment for yourself to be mindful of what you're feeling and access your inner wisdom. Take time to visualize the outcome you want. Asking your expanded self if it's the absolute best outcome for you at this time and then notice your emotions and your body's response to it. Do you feel conflicted in any way? If so, focusing on resolving that is the next step. I found when I focus on something and it's causing me to have some sort of feeling of disconnect within my higher self, um, I let go of thinking of that altogether. And a lot of people might think that that's crazy or weird, but in the long run, it is allowing our minds to flow towards what is working for us and not trying to force an outcome. Um, the more that we are attached to an outcome, the higher the probability of us hindering that outcome from coming to fruition by focusing on it so hard um, our frequency needs to match up with it all right so we're going to do the mercury retrograde spell spell are you guys doing spells over there uh spread <laughs> weird what y'all doing virgo y'all casting spells i'm here for it <laughs> so um yeah, the first card is going to be what to ex expect this retrograde. It's crazy. Every single sign has gotten this card so far. You can expect co-creation. Um, things coming to manifestation and fruition. Finding inspiration and creativity and even finding an ability to create art with others who may not be exactly like you, but that are aligned in not just your path, but in what you find bliss in. What are the obstacles that Virgo may face, please? Let's 
so <laughs> I think you can only find divine timing as an obstacle if you're pushy for a specific outcome. So again, there's a need to let go of the attachment of any outcomes for things because the divine timing is going to be your biggest obstacle, meaning that when certain things are meant to take place, there's not really much you can do about it. And if it's not that time for it, it's not going to occur. It's just, it's not, <laughs> no matter how much you want it to. Um, what is Virgo's subconscious telling them? Um, they want you to be aware of synchronicity because it's, it's, it's pushing you towards luck and good fortune. And there's opportunity allied with readiness. And they need you to be aware of that. And there's going to be what seems like a magical alignment of events, which is really cool. I like that. So what does Virgo need to release, please? What does Virgo need to release? You need to release the need to be seen and understood by those in your community. There's a need for you to know your place and learn who you are outside of the like-minded connections that you've made. It's almost like, um, sorry, I'm on my yoga ball. <laughs> it's almost like you're um, morphing into those around you and they want you to kind of take stock of who you actually are. And there's also a need for you to meditate because I usually don't look at the bottom of the deck unless they tell me to. Um, literally, she's meditating. Um and the word on here is breathe. So there's like, I would, I would say like some breathing exercises would be really, really good for you to get yourself um, aligned. And if you have a hard time stopping and breathing, I know it sounds crazy. I had a hard time. Um, yoga is really great for that. Um, and it took me a while. I think I had to do yoga for like two or three months uh, when I first started. And then I was able to sit down and meditate. And I had to do yoga right before to clear my mind. And the yoga, doing the yoga, had me in uh, the mode of being consciously aware of my breathing. Because you're breathing with the poses that you're doing and the flowing of, of each pose. So that was how I readied myself for meditation because all meditation is, is breathing. You don't have to get ready or you don't have to do anything. It's just breathing. And a lot of people don't know themselves well enough to slow down and breathe. So yoga is what did that for me because I was uh, very much a city girl <laughs> and had a hard time there. So, all right, let's pull some more oracle cards for you, Virgo. I am stripping the color from my hair and putting excess heat on it or any product in it that like isn't good for the hair. Kind of defeats me, defeats the purpose of me stripping it. So that's why it looks like wild child hair. Pretty sure I've explained this in every video. <laughs> Some messages for Virgo, please. Sacral chakra, third eye chakra. So there are three chakras that have been highlighted sacral, um,
highlights courageous living and being determined. Creating from passion. And the third eye chakra highlights your awareness and your clarity and those inner intuition which shatters illusion for you. Hmm. And these cards are DNA activations. Give me a second to pull that one out. <laughs> like, what are they? You might be coming into contact with your twin flame, Virgo, or you're already with them. I looked at the clock and it was at 11.11. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah, you're birthing something new and you're guarding it vigilantly. And everything that you're manifesting is spiraling into friction. It's really beautiful. Just some messages for Virgo, please. Possible is just an opinion. The reason there is a lack in abundance is because there is an abundance of lacking thoughts. The reason there is a lack of abundance is because there is abundance of lacking thoughts. A belief is just a thought you continue to think. Change the thought, change the belief. I was literally just about to say that. So a lot of us have been raised in a mindset of lack and it's based out of a fear consciousness, you know, don't go to work, you won't pay the rent, you won't have a home, you'll be homeless. A lot of us have been taught to think that specific things are out of our reach, impossible, um, that we'll never get them. There are things that those people have that we'll just never have type of thing. Um, and I speak from experience and as I was raised that way myself and I had to get myself out of that mindset and very easily I can fall into that mindset which would affect my everyday life. And um, I think that you're in a space, Virgo, where it's make or break right now. And the only way that I could explain this is um, when I was younger, I stopped drinking. And I was like six months in completely sober. Like I was, I drank all the time in my 20s. I think it was 26, 28. I don't know. Anyway. I stopped drinking and it was like the six month mark and something happened that triggered me and I ended up on my family's boat <laughs> and I was sitting there with a blunt and actually it was a backwood, just way more intense than a blunt, um, and uh, a bottle of alcohol and it was like my make or break moment and it was actually g Easy's song, Me, Myself, and I. I had never heard it. It came on, and, like, midway through the song, I had ended up throwing the alcohol in the bay. <laughs> Sorry, Baloo. <laughs> but this, that analogy 
plays into this, and I don't know, maybe you drink a lot, maybe you need to stop drinking, but this is, like, your make-or-break moment, like, you're either gonna make yourself, or you're gonna break yourself by changing your perspective, or by keeping the same perspective and beliefs that you've had. Beliefs are conditioned upon us. They are not something that we've had as our own from the beginning, and I think that they want you to let go of any beliefs that may be self-sabotaging or that hinder what you want to come to fruition in your life. Okay, yeah, all right, that's it, Virgo. I hope that this helped you. I hope you have a good November and uh, happy Thanksgiving. Namaste. Bye-bye.